Hi, this is John from johnesberg.com. Time for another tutorial. This time we're going to be discussing the importance and the uses of vibrations, saturation, and clarity. Everything that you would see underneath vibrance. Okay, so I'd like to get into my quick collection. I'm going to hit the shortcut Control B, jump in there, and I have a few pieces here. All right, so I have some gradients here of some uh, primary colors, and now the first one I want to I want to talk about is actually vibrance, and I'm going to compare it against saturation. All right, vibrance. It's just like saturation, except for it targets the colors that are not quite as bright as others might be, and kind of goes for that lower zone. And as I bring the slider over, it brightens things up. You can see that I have these bright green here, and I have more of a match heading towards it as we go through the graduation. All right, go in the opposite direction, and you can see it. It puts things towards more of a grayscale. I still have some of my my nice bright primary style colors here, but they're being sucked out from the vibrance. On the other hand, if I go to saturation, the next one, I can take things up, and as you can see, even more in comparison is being it is being tweaked. Take it down, I go to a grayscale effect. That's uh, putting everything into a, a mid value if you want to go look at the numbers um, and then it's just imagine it's a, just a, a it's just an adjustment of the, of the intensity of the uh, gray the gray image but take it back to the middle so what about clarity well clarity in a nutshell is a mid-tone contrast adjustment so I don't have much of you, you don't see lines in the middle of these gradients there's not much to give a contrast to. So when we go in here, you're only going to see it in between the blocks. Come on in. Uh, I'm at 100, but I don't get much of an effect. I drop back down. Eh, just a little bit of a touch up, but nothing that practically even shows up on the screen except for on the edges of those blocks. Okay, so let's go take a look at an example. All right, have a nice little image right here. I have a lot of gray material already in the image and if I come into uh, let's start with vibrance I'm gonna see some areas start to pop with color and it actually makes quite an effect on this one uh, the the dirt's gonna show up it's got color it's not isolated to into being a lot of gray so it's gonna make those colors pop a bit more works works great all right, now if I come to saturation, on the other hand, I'm brightening the color in everything or taking it to complete grayscale. All right, what about clarity? All right, clarity is going to go for that mid-range, those mid-range colors, and it's going to try and give them some contrast. It's going to make things pop, but I have so much grayscale in there, it's not doing a lot. Now, I can get a negative clarity, and I do get this... I, I get some effect, but the real quality of those effects that the clarity actually develop are going to show up. Now, clarity has one special feature in it, and that is is that they put a filter in it so that it leaves skin tones alone. Now, it doesn't mean that you're not completely isolated from it. That's not true at all. If you take it too far, you're going to mess with the skin tone. I mean, just look at that. My skin, my skin on the face here of my son starts to look a bit ashen. Go in the opposite direction. It, it, it's taking all the all the detail out of it. It's getting that that angelic effect. Now you can actually you see it really well. The effects if you watch in this white area down here, you can see that I'm getting is ble it's bleeding out as it takes away the contrast. Go in the opposite direction, you can see it starts to develop a nice sharp ebb edge there. All right, so that's really for mid-tone adjustment. You can see I had some mid-tones right here up against the whites. It made it pop. Um, on the other hand, vibrance. It's it's pretty easy to take this to an extreme. Um, you know, you, you look right there. Hey, that's a quick shortcut that a lot of people try to play with, trying to give a an HDR effect. Um, I'll take that back to zero. 
just punch in the number, hit enter, Oop. hit enter. Saturation, it's going to brighten everything up, or it's going to take it all the way down to, down to the grayscale. It's that linear effect that saturation has. It doesn't really apply things by a curve. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and uh, learning the differences between clarity, clarity, mid-tone adjustments, uh, not taken to an extreme. It won't put, put a lot of damage on the skin tones. Vibrance takes the, the not-so-loud colors, makes them more loud. Saturation, just a, a straight-across linear attack on all colors, trying to brighten or take them into a grayscale. So until I talk to you again, this is John at johnesberg.com.